Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your uh, monthly reading for July. This is a little bit different format. I'm going to go right back to my other format with the rest of my readings. I'm just called to do it this way this time, so that's what I'm doing. Now you know generally my readings are love readings, so we'll see whatever comes up. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you'd like a reading, there's a video on my home page that tells you what I offer. Um, this is for the sign of Aquarius for the month of July. What does Aquarius need to know? This deck will be upright. The clarifiers, if they come out reversed, I will, uh, I'll keep it that way. Okay. Heartache and loss. Past, present, future, but I'm going to combine them together. So you guys may be feeling a little heartbroken at this time. Crown chakra. That is the, I know, I know, that's, a, that's the chakra of higher consciousness. The three of cups. Moving on. This is the six of swords. This is the three of swords. Ace of Swords, the World card, a Victory and Success, the Six of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands. You guys have gained some strength, or you're gaining strength through suffering. That's what's happening. Okay. So... In the past or happening right now, okay, there's been some sort of heartache. There's been some sort of loss in your life in which you are having to move on from. You're having to move on perhaps from another person. Could be a job. It's a situation, whatever it is. This is happening because it's, it's, it's allowing you to get your life back on track. It's allowing you to have victory and success. But you have to let something go first, okay? That's why there's heartache and loss. True suffering brings growth. So I think that you have been through so, some sort of, of suffering that is allowing you to get your life back on track, okay? It's allowing you to step into this higher consciousness. It's, this is also a source of wisdom, you guys. Like I said a, a minute ago, you've gained some sort of wisdom or growth through suffering. You are probably very wise at this time. You've stepped into your power. You've realized the truth of a situation. Something has hurt. Something has hurt to a, a good extent, and it's it's brought you strength, okay? Something has brought you strength. Some sort of suffering has really given you some strength. Um, you know, you may be feeling very wise at this time, be, and you should be because you learned something. I feel as though... Um, I mean, this is the Nine of Pentacles. This is being grateful, being grateful for all that you have. This is bountiful. This is bountiful harvest. This is material harvest. But this is um, loving all that you have. You know what I mean? So I feel like at this time, you guys are probably feeling quite abundant with who you are, feeling grateful for even the hardships. It's like, I think you guys know that this had to end, that this suffering had to happen so that you can move on from a situation. You knew. You knew that this was coming. It wasn't like it was no surprise, whatever this was. You saw this coming. You did. And I feel as though this is a... Uh, you can chalk this up to a victory. There's no doubt about it. You, There's some sort of victory here because this is victory and success. And the world card is victory and success. So you guys have are obtaining some sort of, and then we have this success too, I just noticed. Anyway, you're obtaining some sort of success through the own your own power that you have gained through learning something. Because the world card is a lesson, okay? This is the world card. You learned some lesson, and you probably learned it the hard way. You probably did. But it feels as though you saw it coming. It wasn't something that you know, was a big surprise to you, okay? So in the future, we have the Three of Cups. This is, um, this says Rejoice and Celebration. This is some sort of... I'm just putting the rest of the cards together. This is a new beginning 
on the horizon for you in which is going to make you very happy. It's like, I think a lot of stress has been released from you. I think that a lot of stress has been or is about to go away because you're you're moving on from it, whatever this situation was, and you're going to start feeling a lot more happy, a lot more playful in the future. Um, you do have a, a major completion. Something has ended and you are about to start on a new path. This new path that is right in front of you is going to be something that is probably long term. A long term new phase is right in front of you because you've just completed one. Okay, you have. You've just complete, completed a phase, a lesson, a life lesson. You've just completed one. Now you're about to start on a new one. That's what I see. I think this one was strength. This life lesson that you have just learned is spiritual strength. Okay? Spiritual strength and, and the strength to be honest. The strength to do what's right for you. The strength to find your own power. So I feel like this has been a really good or it's going to be a really good month of stepping into your own power and manifesting newness into your life. So I see that you're, you guys are headed um, down a new path after some sort of heartache, okay? You've gained some strength and you should start to be feeling a little less stressed at this time, more happy. You know, there's a lot of, there is a feeling of, of happiness now, playfulness. We're going to get some clarifiers. I want to know what you guys are moving on from. What is this heartache and loss that you are moving on from? It's like you're, this is this difficult period that you've been through. It's ending. It is ending. So I, I can see that. That's a good thing, huh? Oh, look at that. Three of Cups reversed. You may have been involved in a third party situation. I have to just say that. This could also be you could have been dealing with a three other people that were against you, okay? You may have had um, it looks like you may have been involved in a situation that was very unfulfilling because there was it was like three against one. I don't know what this is, three against one. And I think it's and I think this that is for a female. I do. I think this part right here is for a female, maybe in the work arena that you know, where she was working with somebody and they they didn't like her, so they, they teamed up. It was like a team up kind of thing. But it looks like you found your power. Okay. Um three 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 you know, 333 three, three is mind, body, and soul. That's a trinity. So you guys are, are definitely vibrating at a high level. You should be feeling right in your right in in tune with who you are at this time. Um, 333 three, three is your prayers have been heard, too. This is something that you wanted, okay? This ending that you are moving away from, this completion in your life, is absolutely something that you wanted. This is the end of it. It's the end. It's, you may feel like... You know, you were going through a, the, this was exhaustion. I mean, it was exhausting, whoever you were dealing with. It was causing mental exhaustion and you, you had to, you had to, you had to let it go. It was leading to a dead end. It was making you feel empty. It was making you feel dead inside. So you had to find your confidence to find your power and get out of it. So I think that you guys have, I think that you guys have moved on from a difficult situation and you're starting to regain some happiness that was lost. You have. You guys have made the decision to make a change, to stop carrying around this burden, to stop being involved. I'm not going to carry this around with me. I'm not going to hold on to this. It doesn't serve me. I know that I am wise enough to not need to deal with this. And I feel like you just do that. You just let this cycle end. It doesn't serve you. And when you do that, you find a new opportunity, something that is much more secure and much more stable. And I think that I think that you know the universe from above. Okay, the universe from above is offering you this new new security, whether it's a new job or a new home or money coming in. You're being offered it by the universe because they've seen that you have found your power. They see that you have been honest. They do because that Ace of Swords right in the middle is your power. It's your truth. Okay, they see that, so they're giving you some sort of reward. That's what it looks like to me. You are being rewarded for making the right call, for doing the right thing. Um, there's a, there is a feeling of a new happiness coming in the future. If it hasn't happened yet, you should be starting to feel a lot less stress, 
a lot less grief, feeling more content than you have in a long, long time. More stable, more happy, more um, playful. Um, you guys are starting a new, a new chapter that may bring in love, okay? Because the Four of Cups is reversed. Maybe you're looking for love. I don't know. Maybe you're wanting love. Maybe you decide you were finally ready for this new relationship. I feel like you are turning away from something that wasn't stable and secure. Again, this is where you turn away and then you find the new happiness. I feel like there was an, a lost opportunity in love that caused a lot of hurt. Whatever the situation was, whether it was love or at work, there was a lost opportunity. It wasn't meant for you. It wasn't. It really wasn't. But you stayed there anyway for some reason. The universe brought these three people into the mix to, to push you out. Okay, that's what it looks like. They push you out. They, they're working on pushing you out. You, you make the move. You find your power. Then you find your happiness at the same time. It's like the universe rewards you with something more stable and secure because you make a conscious change. You are wise enough to know better, whatever this is. You're wise enough to know what the hell is going on, too. Put it that way. It's not like you didn't know. You saw this coming, whatever it was. Um, yeah, somebody was being dishonest. And I th this could either be in love or the workplace or in the family dynamic. Because I feel like that somebody was treating you unfairly. And that caused a lot of hurt within you because you probably couldn't figure out why. Why? Why? What did I do to deserve this? And I feel it's, it's pure jealousy. I really, really do. I think it's jealousy. So I feel as though you probably had to stand up for yourself and you got defensive and whoever you were dealing with didn't like it. Absolutely didn't like it, but you did the right thing. So let's see. What does uh, Aquarius have in the future for July? There's that new world again. You guys have a major new beginning that leads to happiness. Perhaps a new relationship. The universe twice. The world. This is the universe card. And this is. They're the same card. Just labeled differently. You guys have a major, major new beginning. Because one cycle of your life has completed. A lesson has been learned. And it does have to do with spiritual strength. You guys close the door. That needed to be closed. The universe saw that you did that. That you that you made the move you needed to make to get your life back on track. And they're giving you some sort of reward. Whether this is an actual, you know, if this is money or a new job or a new home or something something that you can touch. Or a new partner because this could be a new partner as well. For some of you, you are receiving something much, much better than what you just walked away from. And that is coming in July. I see a major new beginning. But, you you know, there's no rush. Don't rush into it. Don't rush into it. Go slow. You have the resources and the tools and the power and the wisdom to make this successful. And this truly is the answers to your prayers. It's what you've been waiting for. It's what you deserve. We have one, one, one now. It's your, it's your manifestation. It's what you want. It's what you've been hoping for. So I feel like you guys have a new beginning right around the corner that you are manifesting very quickly because it's, it's, the magician takes action, takes action to bring success. That's what he does. And that's exactly what you have done. Exactly. You had to stand up for yourself. And the universe sees that you found the strength to do that. So they are bringing you some sort of reward. You deserve it. You guys have left an unhappy, discontented situation. It was only, it was only harming you. And you knew it. You knew it. And now you're trying to find the balance. You're trying to find the balance that was lost. And in the future, you have something that is much, much, much better suited for you. So if this hasn't come yet, it is coming. Okay? This is an unexpected choice that is going to come into your life because you earned it. Now, this could be a new lover or it could be a new partnership. 
This is a new partnership either way, whether in, in regards to your work or love. And this is about choices. So you guys have made a good choice, and now you are receiving some sort of reward because you took ac action. Be prepared for victory and success. That's what I see for you, Aquarius. It's a very positive month, reaping the rewards of your of the actions you take. And there is a new unexpected choice in love or work, whatever this is, a new and unexpected partnership that is being offered to you. And this is much better suited for you, much, much better suited. You could be dealing with a Gemini. We have a Gemini here, Gemini here. We have Sagittarius here. We have all the signs, so don't hold it to that. I mean, it could be any sign, okay? You guys left a deceitful situation, and I think, or walked away from it, or you've dropped it from your mind. You've decided, I'm not going to worry about it anymore. If you haven't left it physically, it's like, you know, I'm not going to worry about you. I'm moving on, and then you get rewarded. You know, it's like, I'm not going to fight about this. I'm not going to involve myself in this. I'm better than that. I know that I am. I'm wise enough to know better. So I see a lot of happiness coming into your life, a major new beginning that leads to even more success. There's success everywhere in this reading, Aquarius. So congratulations. Talk to you later.